the flag we all beat in our chest. When it's peace, it's the same old game, the same old players, same old names. Right. Right. My, my skin is my sin. My skin is my sin. What's good, fam? What's up, African? So when did you get started in the fashion, King? I got started in fashion. And really, it got started in 2011. That's when I got started in, in the fashion industry, period, when I was working with um, I was working with a talent search uh, corporation. It was basically like a talent agency. And, um, you know, I was involved with the scouting and the mo- and uh, scouting for models and other talent that we would, uh, you know, funnel into different agencies and stuff like that. But I got a lot of training and uh, experience in that field and just seeing behind the scenes. I I learned photography and everything. You know, I just learned a lot about different things and different looks, all this stuff. You know, it's the science behind fashion and, you know, being able to express, like, you know, who you are with what you're wearing. So that's really where I, I, like, got the the passion for it. And, uh, you know, like, since 2011, I, I've uh, after I left that job, I, I worked with other clothing um, brands and things like that, where I learned different tricks of the trade and just how to print my own clothes and make my own designs on you know using different programs. I learned a lot over the last few years, you know, and I, I've, I've seen you know with my experience with these different companies that I've been involved with. Um, like uh, every experience I've had just built on the last one. So mm-hmm. where I am is, is really, you know, it's, it's all just playing out like, like just in, in, in perfect order. Everything that I've learned, up, you know, has, has I've been able to use everything in every aspect of building this brand to what it is today. So I definitely, you know, have to credit, you know, those other um, companies that I've worked with, you know, and those individuals who saw something in me and gave me an opportunity because they really helped me to, uh, you know, develop myself and uh, be able to, to present things uh, in the way that I have been able to, you know, so I'm uh, I'm very appreciative of that, man. But, um, you know, where, where we are now is like, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm thankful to be in this position to, to be able to, uh, to influence the culture and to, to use the things that I've learned, you know, to help, better the, the mentality and the approach that, uh, you know, people who look like me and you uh, take to life on a daily basis. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like that's the whole goal is to really, like, like help people to improve their morale and help people to feel better about who we are, you know, just, just through fashion because we, we're such a, a hip and trendy people, you know. It's like we, we just got a need to be cool no matter what's going on. Like we want to look good. We want to be sharp. And be fresh, That's you know. So it's like, I, yeah, man. It don't matter what's going on, and like a lot of people, um, you know, there's a lot of people in the in the in the community, you know, who 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 have negative things to say about such things like that, you know. Where it's like, look, like that's just who we always have been. You know, you talk about like like people who wear jewelry and gold chains and and rings and things like that. It's like Look, that's just you know, that's just how we are. You know? Facts. And hold on Regardless one second, King. Let me let me get Afi in on the line too. But you are absolutely right, man. We like we yeah. we've always been love. You know, we love the shiny shit. Like you can, I don't care how far you want to take it back. Yeah. You know, they yeah. they pull up artifacts. They, they still pull up some 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 uh, gold. Uh, what's up, Afi? I got you on. And yeah, NBK, we ready. You can go ahead and do that. Hey, PT. What's Peace. going on, you guys? Was handing. Hey, peace, everyone. Sorry for my delay. Thank you. Oh, it it just been a mess to keep it a stack. Yeah. You know, we went to Skype, then went back to Blog Talk because Blog Talk wouldn't let me in. Um, and, oh, yeah? and and Ron King, I mean Ron King, Ron, Ron Green has just been phenomenal. Where did I get King from? Oh, uh, thank you, Ron. Yeah, just very, 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 just man, I can't, I can't thank the brother enough. You know, because me personally, I wouldn't have called up. I'm not even going to lie, man. I just would have been like, man, it's, it's a wrap. Get y'all shit together. Hey, man. <laughs> you know, I, it, it ain't, <laughs> I know, I know how, how it can be sometimes, man. 
technical difficulties can can really uh okay. you know they can they can make or break the situation. So you know I like to give I like to be patient with 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 my people. You know what I mean? In certain situations, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm cool. I'm cool with this. You know, it's all good. <laughs> That's what's up. Uh, Alfie, you got a little noise in the background, too. I know, I know, I know. I'm, I'm just getting uh, settled in, but I am moving to the empty room. So. All right, that's dope. Uh, and I'm MPK, here. you still got uh, – yeah, there we go. I think we're good now. Um, and I can't really hear it, so I'm not sure. Uh, but let me check this out one second. And and you you were you were um saying that you you know that some people are resistant to the, to to acknowledging the greatness and the importance of fashion. Why do you think that is? Um, hey man, there's a lot of reasons. There's one you know, there's one reason because you know people just some people they just don't know how to dress or they don't care about it. You know, it's never been important <laughs> to them. You know, and it is what it That's is. True. It's like all right, cool. You know, I, I like I traveled a lot of different places in the in the country and and abroad and you see all types of fashion, you know, and a lot of people they dress functional. You know, they dress for you know, whatever they doing. They like if like people who, who live in warm climates, they just you know, shorts and a tank top, whatever. Just whatever's cool. Like something they just trying to stay cool. I get it, you know. Like some mm-hmm. places, you know, like if you go to New York, like people are more fashion conscious, you know, it's like like people are coordinating the yeah. outfits and everything. You know, it's like they got the hat that matched the shirt, that matched the color in the in the shoes that also matched the fade in their jeans. You know, it's like and the the T shirt just offsets every you know, it's like there's different expressions. Yeah. And it's all you know, like some people dress for functional and then some people are dressing for fashion, like and they really trying to express something with it. You know, so you know, I, I'm not out here to take nothing away from anybody. It's like I'm here to enhance the experience. It's like, look, if you're going to get fly, then you might as well be saying something while you do it. If you're going to get dressed, period. If you know whether it's you know like like whatever you're doing, like you can you can re- you can like really represent something. You know, it's like how they how they say like you know so many people are, you you know it's like you can wear a brand. And just it just has somebody else's name on it. But what I'm giving people is, you know, a way to identify yourself within the brand. You know, so it's like you're regardless this thing is always speaking for you. It's not saying, Oh, like this is cool because I got this from this company. It's like, no, this is mm-hmm. cool because this is how I feel. You know. Right. So it's like really infusing like that that personal experience into every shirt and every design, every message is, like, really the science behind, you know, what's up African. It's like, look, every everything, every time you look at one of these shirts, you're going to feel something. It's going to force you to make a choice. So, you know, if everybody doesn't get the alchemy in that. Everybody don't understand it. You know, some, oh, you just selling T-shirts. Oh, you just, you just uh, you know, pimping the revolution, whatever, all these different uh, sayings that people have. But it's like, that's cool. That's what you think. But I know people who say that this this thing is the most important shirt they've ever bought before. You know what I'm saying? This thing is like the only piece of clothing they have that, that represents something. You know, it's like I know people that this is their favorite shirt. Like hella black, Not hella proud. This they like every like I like I was just remarking earlier where it's like I, they, that, like I do a lot of events and stuff like that in the city and I, I'm I'm out and about a lot and. There, every time I'm doing an event within this circuit, there's this one guy that shows up, and every time I see him, he's got the same. He's got the hella black, hella proud shirt on. He don't even know I'm gonna be there, but he has a shirt on, and I'm like, I'm just amazed because it's like, yo, that's how meaningful this thing is to some people. So it's like, I know everybody don't get it. Everybody don't see it. Oh, you just making shirts. Oh, you, oh, you, you just making clothes, whatever, you know, anybody can do that. But it's like everybody's not tapping in. And that's really, like I said, the the methodology that's behind this. I'm not just up here making clothes. But it's cool if you think that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's okay. So it's like because my job ain't necessarily explained to everybody. 
they think like all the geniuses, they people think they're crazy. Fine, cool. You like they think I'm just making shirts, fine, I'm just doing it for nothing. But then when you see how far I take this thing, you know, it's like ain't nobody seen how far this thing can go within the fashion. Not only that, man. I'm about to take it there. The revolution yeah. ain't free. Like you fooling yourself. It ain't if free. You think the revolution go drop out the sky and you know, like you criticizing somebody else for believing some pie in the sky shit, but you basically are too. Hey, look, man, the revolution ain't free, and at the end of the day, we got to understand that people are affected by by images. They're affected by the things that they see the most. So if I can get a million people wearing hella black, hella proud, how effect how effective can that be, like, right. in the areas that they're in? Like, you know, like, so that's my goal. I want everybody wearing this. And it's not just for for any old reasons because no this when people wear these shirts in the environment wherever they go they're affecting the environment. Everybody's reading it. Everybody's looking at it, and they're forced to either identify or disassociate with it. Like that's what I'm saying. Normally, if I walk into a place with a white tee on, inconsequential, nobody cares. You know, right. you come in with a black tee on, people might kind of you might stick stick out because black is like bam. But now you got a black shirt with a, with white lettering that that leads you back to the culture of which like you you either identify or disassociate with. It's like you it's it's like a like a chemical reaction. You know what I mean? So, that's what I'm saying. It's like but everybody ain't gonna get it. That's a but fact. when they see and we got a couple it, it's of, like uh, you know. And I'm sorry to cut you off, King. We got a couple well, it's all of good, bro. And, I, I can and, go uh, in all night. It's all good. We got. A, I think we got KT uh, the arts degree on the line, and I know we got. I, I think that's knowledge born on the line too. If y'all want to, uh, I know. K, yeah, you know. So just hold on one second. Let's get KT in right quick. What's good, fam? Greetings, greetings. What's going on, people? Just chilling, you know. Me, Afi, Ron Green. I hear y'all. How y'all doing? Uh, right, What's up, good show. brother? How are you? Everything is iry. <laughs> yeah, I hear that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I just um I just was sliding on real quick. I'm not here to impose at all. I was just here to kind of give an update, a formal update, um, as a follow through from my last um time on the show, um, in which I was talking about heading to St. Croix in order to assist St. Thomas um, after getting ravaged by Hurricane Irma. I was, I was currently in Miami witnessing what Irma had just been to Miami, and I had put forth um, my, my um, PayPal in order for people to send down um, some funds so that I can transfer them to Strength to Strength, which, was a, which is a nonprofit organization down in St. Thomas to assist them with, with the efforts, right? So mm -hmm. in me traveling, like, I think I traveled the next day or the day after that. It was either the next day or the day after I did the show. Um, no, it was Thursday. So I think I left on Saturday or fr Friday or Saturday. It was one of the two days. It was like two days later. I get to St. Croix. I'm there for a couple days, and lo and behold, Hurricane Maria smacks me upside the head. So I'm on St. Croix. When a Category 5 hurricane hits um, and just ravages the island, you know, no power, no service, no running water, curfew from 12 to 4, four hours during the day, that was it, military presence, it was crazy. So I wanted to just come on the show and once again thank you all for the platform that allowed me, you know, before to put the word out and also allow me to come back on here to kind of update the people and let them know, like, a few funds did get sent down. And after I got back to the States, <laughs> I was able uh -huh. to finally get those funds to him um, in which I was able to send, you know, the proof of transfer and all that to Knowledge Born, you know, and anybody who did donate anything if they show me that they assisted and they want to see where their money went i'm more than happy to show them where it went to but the delay um and the lack of follow-through was due to the fact that i got caught in a hurricane and i was stuck on st croix for a whole week um and then when i returned you know i just was in a devastating catastrophic scenario in which i had to catch my breath and then once so i catch my breath 
Right. Well, you know, I'm not even trying to label anything. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, but it is time you're though. in a yeah. You but at the end of the day, a, you did what you said you was gonna do, and that's what the people exactly. did. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I, that's all I wanted to do is just put it out there that I, you know, I did do that, and the reason why I was so delayed with follow through and response and everything was because I was caught up in it too. You know. Um, and then even after I caught my breath, even after I kind of got back up and started walking again, um, you know, I was temporarily relocating down there because of my wellness retreat, which I had to reschedule. Um, and like, so a lot of my stuff got in limp, got caught in limbo and shipping and all types of stuff. So there's a lot of cleaning up and things that I'm, you know, I'm still doing to this, to this point right now. Um, but I wanted to make sure that I got on the, on the airwaves um, in cyberspace and just let the people know what happened, why there was a delay, and that we did get, you know, whoever was able to send something down, we were able to transfer that over, you know. Well, salute to you, man. Definitely appreciate all the work you put in for that, man, and I know the people down there do too. Um, and oh, for those yeah. people that, that aren't aware, we do have a Hip Hop for the People fundraiser coming up the 28th. Um, in Cleveland, it's going to be from 4 to 8 at Ingalls Bar in South Euclid. We're just going to have a whole bunch of artists come in and do their thing. Um, and it, it, it's a part two from uh, the Hip Hop for, for the People that they had a, a couple of weeks ago. Um, and it's all for um, hurricane relief. Um, and shout out to you again, KT, man. That, that's that's phenomenal. And I don't want to, you know, I want to make sure that we... we, we uh, Get a chance to chop it up with Ron Green too, cause oh man, yeah, yeah, it's been it's just been a mess this show today, man. I'm telling you, man. We had to go to Skype, then we came back to Blog Talk. It's just been a, uh, you know. Well, but yeah, we, like we, I we, said, I'm 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 in and I'm out. One, last thing before I go, anybody who's in the Texas area, um, Dallas, Fort Worth, um, tomorrow at 7 p.m. I'm doing a presentation at 4466 Marcellus Avenue. That's 4466 Marcellus Avenue at Pan-African Connection Bookstore and Research Center. Um, There's a pillar in the community in Dallas when it comes to information um, and and knowledge and science. I will be there presenting starting at 7 o'clock, and it's called The Vegan Gene. Yes, The Vegan Gene. I'm going to give the genetic proof that our ancestors were vegan and how we can sustain ourselves on a vegan diet, even though there's a lot of scientific, quote-unquote, scientific evidence that says that we cannot. So I will be putting that information forth in addition to laying out the food. So I will be feeding the people as well. So please come on out, like I said, 4466 Marcellus Avenue. Any further information, you could send me an inquiry at lovegreenlife at gmail, L-U-V-G-R-E-E-N-L-I-F-E at gmail.com. And also, you already know, at the cooler, they'll put you in contact with me if you reach out to them in response to this. So just wanted to let the people know. That's what's up, up, man. Definitely appreciate it, it bro. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Thank you. This family up here, bro, you always can call in. You know that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it. I know it. But I'm going to gracefully bow out so the brother can get <laughs> get his time in and y'all can get it rolling since I know y'all been dealing with some technical issues. But thanks for right. extending the time. I appreciate it. I don't know, doubt, man. It's all love. Peace, fam. Yeah, it is. No doubt. Peace, family. And knowledge, I'm going to get to you in a second. And 4754, like you, you've been on hold for a long time, so I'm going to get to you in just one second. Um, how do, before we even go any further, though, um, for anybody that, that is interested in, in the merchandise or they want to uh, hook up for a party or they just want to get in contact with you, how do they go about doing that, Kane? You, you, you asking me? Yes, sir. Oh, well, if your people can get in contact with me on Facebook at Ron Green, you can find my products at whatsupafrican.com. You can also find find my uh, my brand and follow the movement on Facebook at What's Up African Apparel. You can like the page and stay up to date with all our newest releases as well as our uh, big events that are coming up. Uh, also, you can follow us on Instagram at What's Up African Clothing. What's Up African Clothing? Not like What's Up, like W A S S U P. No, like What's Up W H A T S. What's up, African 
clothing on Instagram. And then we're Yo, also on Twitter new, at What's Up African. The new T shirt is fire too, bro. Oh, well, you you talking about the Africa's originals? <laughs> yeah, man, that is fire. Man, Ron got a yeah. new shirt every week. I didn't even know which one y'all was talking about. Oh, hey, man, man, that one is cold. Ron, yeah. keep them rolling. <laughs> you know, yeah, and, and I'm I mean, like a, a top ten guy. You know, like that's those mm-hmm. those them, them been my shoes for decades. You know, right. so I seen that one. I'm like, man, that's perfect. Right I, like clever, I like the clever play on uh on Adidas. Uh, like the yeah. like the the design is very clean. It's it's striking. It's class. It's a classic look. Um, and I had a question. Uh, if it's okay. And I know no one no, has No, you question. cannot. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I will fight you today, Job. I'm just in that mood. <laughs> and my heart is here. That's where I, that's where uh, all of this lateness comes from. But um, I had a question for you, Ron. Uh, I'm sure you know about the history of fashion in the black community and the the importance of it. Can you talk a little bit about uh, the psychology of fashion in the black man? Okay, well, <clears throat> what I will say is there's an aspect of consumerism that go that that is present, and it is uh and it has proven to be um you know a bit detrimental because it's been exploited you know in the black community. Uh, so with uh you know, but on the same note, fashion and the and the black man you know is like. A lot of us find a sense of pride in, you know, the things that we choose to adorn ourselves with, you know, and I feel like there's, you know, um, as we were touching on earlier, you know, that, that goes back, you know, centuries, you know, um, people, people, it, it's just been a thing where we have an affinity for, you know, things that make us look good. Like we want to enhance our appearance, you know, um, and uh, like I said, that, that desire has been exploited uh, by and large, uh, you know, in, in current times, you know. So that's, uh, you know, where What's Up African comes in is like, look, people are shopping, people are, are buying things. They're, they're looking uh, to, to buy new things all the time. Like uh, this is like at the point now where, you know, people are shopping for, for any reason they can find, you know, um and it's like uh, I, I just feel like if you're going to be shopping, then you might as well be shopping with a purpose. It's like you can be looking for something that represents you, and I'm I'm going to fill that gap. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's really interesting to see how people have uh, have grown to respond to the movement itself, and uh, you know, the, and the fashion aspect of it. Because um, you know, it's like when I first started with South African. Uh, my my goal was to just make this thing cool. It's like I say that to some people, and they're like, oh, it, I've always felt like it's been cool to be black. Well, there's a, a large population of people who, who haven't felt that way, who aren't right. really encouraged to feel that way, you know, on a daily basis. You know, they, they've been talked down on and talked about and, you know, all these different things that uh, really can, can detract from a person's uh, self-esteem. So, like, I want to be here. To, to help enhance that black experience, you know, and, and what's up African is what it's all about. Look, it's cool to be us. Like, it's okay. Like, it's cool, yo. Like, like I'm hell, like, not only am I black, but, like, I'm proud, and it's okay. Like, I'm hella black and hella proud. Like, like how do you can mean? you hate that? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Dumb. So it's just, yeah, so the psychology behind the fashion, you know, it is really it is it's all about tapping into a person's desire to express themselves really and and that's where it's always been people you know all throughout time it's always been about just being able to express oneself without saying anything it's like when 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 a king steps into the room you know 
Like, you know, because they, they've got the royal adornments on. you got the crown, starting with the crown, and you're coming down with the with the jewels and everything uh, draped around the neck, and you got the, the, the fine furs um, from, you know, like, like these freshly killed animals and things. And, Smelling you know, good. everything is... Yeah, it's just you know, so it's it's all throughout time. Like like we we just have had a desire to express ourselves at all times, and that's what fashion allows you to do. So if somebody can spot you from afar and be like, oh, see, I know who that is, or I know what they're about. You know what I mean? That, that's what it is. It's like just a, a really just the most purest form of expression is like like that body language, you know what I mean? So we just dressing that body language up, like we dressing that vibe up that you wanna that you wanna express. Like we giving it a clear and concise voice and tone. You know what I mean? That's it makes why you feel stronger too. Yeah, that's it. That's it. It's like some armor. That's it. Like yeah. I am hella black and hella proud and you step out the house feeling like a million bucks. Yeah. Damn right. You know? Damn right. <laughs> Damn right. Uh, we got we got another <laughs> caller, another couple callers in the queue too, man. I want to make sure I get to uh, hey. forty-seven fifty-four. They've been waiting a half an hour, and then I'm, I'm gonna get to you, knowledge. I'm sorry for the delay, fam. Uh, what's good, fam? Forty-seven fifty-four. Peace. What's good, family? What's going on? Not much, man. I'm over here. Uh, at this enterprise, trying to get this rental car, see? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So you can get on the road, man. They giving you a problem? Yeah, they giving me problems, man. I got, I didn't, I didn't picked up my joint and it was shaking, so I'm like trying to swap it. And apparently there's some <laughs> convention going on, and all the cars is gone. So they trying to send me to Houston in a pickup truck, and I'm like, yo, the gas mileage, yo, I'm not gonna be able to That's work with that crazy. truck. That's crazy. Yeah, Man, so what budget, I'm sitting what here budget waiting budget on the car. What a budget room. Uh, Y'all got budget? Yeah, yeah, uh, y'all do realize we, we got the greatness of Ron King on the phone, right? <laughs> yeah, we oh, do, yeah. man. And I, and I, and I, <laughs> I definitely. I definitely. <laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> yeah, this is like a, this is like a comedy <laughs> segment or something. That's, I'm yeah. just up here laughing. I'm like, okay. It's part of the show. Hey, really, bro? <laughs> you saw like you saw her house. My bad. You know, I, did, I, did, I, did call, I did call to talk to Ryan, man, because he's a guy that I uh I definitely look up to, uh especially since I started doing, you know, following his footsteps a little bit and trying to and trying to bring a, a melanated and power brand to fashion, and um, you know. Uh, what I what I what I definitely wanted to talk to you about, Ron, was um the fact that the the FBI threw out this um BIE thing going on, and uh-huh. now that they're targeting RBG members and they're targeting pro black people and people who who may look more African than they comfortable with, you know, how, what do we do about that? How do we, you know, what's our what's our what's our responsibility? Is the you know when we put people in these shirts? Because not everybody who puts on one of our shirts is as revolutionary as the next, and uh, they might just be putting it on just to you know just to represent you know and be happy of being black. While another person might buy it and they completely revolutionary minded, and they might be on the corner, you know what I'm saying with the with the RBG flag and the fist in the air, and uh, with, yeah. with the with the you know they might be with the, the Huey Newton you know uh, gun crew or whoever. What what's our responsibility uh, is that is if any with dealing with that? All right, that's you know what? That's a really, really, really good question, bro. And um honestly that's something I hadn't even considered. You know what I mean? But um, you know, since we talking about it, uh as I was listening to you uh just, just going over everything, I feel like really I like the fact that all types of people could possibly end up in my clothes. You know what I mean? It's like it not it's not just one type of black person. So if anything, it's like, look, you're gonna have to take all of us. You know what I mean? That's the way I see it. It's like you don't know who's who. It's like if you look out in the streets and you see all these people in Hella Black, Hella Proud or whatever your your brand and influence may be, you know, it's like that's just more power like because they they will literally have to take all of us. And you can't take you right. want you can't take all of us. They not they not gonna snatch. They right. can't. 
It's too many of us, man. We we way deeper than they'll ever give us credit for it. You know? So the way I look at right. it, like like my goal is to have a million people at least in my gear, you know, within the next five years. So if that's the case, you know, that like that's that's a million people strong. Like they can't they're not gonna take that many they can't. They just can't do it. We I I, right. I, I like I I challenge them to do it. You know what I mean? Like you could take one, Are you, you could take a hundred. No, well, yeah, but I, I'm, I'm on the phone side. Okay, give me up a little bit. And, and, and you know oh, what? Man. Though, if you think about it, like we we have always been on a list of some some kind or another. They just gave it a different name this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah and I kind of figured that too. I was like, this is yeah, another name to target us with. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. What you uh, the Cointel Pro? Who was that? All that's what I'm saying. That all of that. They they just pointing out who the who their current threats are. That's all it is. So I mean, this is nothing new, as you know, nothing new under the sun. So we just gonna do what we what we feel is best for us. It's like they make their move and we make ours. It's like we I can't even really concern myself with the things they got going on because at the end of the day. They gonna do what they gonna do, you know, and I'm gonna do what I'm gonna right. do. So it's like, look, like y'all, y'all got to get me, and I like the thing is, I'm moving in a way where it's like, look, like everybody is with me, everybody's together, we're all in together. That's why I put unify or die out there. Like we are the body, you know what I mean? Like they got to kill the body, like they. And and they but they it's too many of us. That's what I'm saying. Like like it's like the, like the ants. You know what I mean? They can't take all of us. Fact. We're stronger together. Fact. You know. Fact. So we get, yeah we work in the unified consciousness of the people. Obviously, we're not gonna get everybody, and I don't intend to. I just it, it's all about the critical mass, man. It's about getting the few the, the people amongst the crowd that get you. It's about getting them, because right. when you focus on getting everybody, like that's where you lose focus of your goal, because you got to corral all these people and try to help them understand you when there's already, you know, hundred thousand people who get you. I'm a rock with that. Right. You know, man. at the back. Oh, at the back. And I did that's forget to give out the phone number too, man. Um, it is three four seven eight five five eight six nine two. You have to press one. If you got a question or a comment, and salute to you, King, for calling up, man. And I hope your car situation get rectified too, bro. I, I didn't want to minimize I that. You know, I want you to get your shit together, man, and be able to, you know, get where you got to go. <laughs> 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 okay. I'm, I'm uh, peace, that. I'm getting there. <laughs> All right, peace, brother. All right, peace. Oh, excuse me. All right, man, you bringing out the hitters tonight, man. We got we got knowledge in the queue. We got uh, the mayor, uh, Keith Horton, in the queue. Like, damn. Mm. Like, yeah, damn, bro. Like, right. Uh, so hold on. Without further ado, man. We, oh, and make sure that you go to uh, – and we'll talk about the Black Power Awards in a second, too. But – Make sure you go to the blackpowerawards.com and vote for Knowledge Born a lot, Doggy Diamonds, Brick the Foundation. And if and if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, I know you hosting the segment, but aren't you up for fashion also? I am. You are correct. I am up for the uh the Cultural Design and Fashion Awards. And I would appreciate if everybody well, you know, just put their bid in for a brother. You know, like this is I'm I'm honored to be a part of it, you know. Like, this is something that's really dope uh, for the culture and for the people, you know. So I, I'm, everybody who, who, who's anybody, if you if you ever been in contact with me, man, tap in. Like, you know, put your bid in for me, man. Go there to that nomination section and uh, nominate everybody he just named because everybody, everybody deserves it. That's a fact. That's definitely a fact, man. So, so definitely, when you go to that ballot box on your computer, you make sure you hit Ron Green, Break the Foundation, Doggy Diamonds, and the legend, Knowledge Born Out Loud. And on that note, let's bring that king in on, to the line right quick. What's good, fam? Peace, peace. I know Hello, he's doing like 74 different Black, things. Black Power, can y'all hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Black Power. Hey, what? Hey. Hey, y'all, y'all got my, my mentor on the line, man. Hold on, let me speak to the first lady before I get slapped. Uh, <laughs> <Reverend Anna. laughs> 
sister, the first lady of <laughs> RT, and the first lady of you. My Skin Is My Sin, the the goddess queen, our feet all hell. Let me let me get that correct. All right, you know what I'm saying. We we got careers on here. Salute to careers, mm-hmm. my brother. You know what I'm saying. Good <laughs> job. Now his name is careers. You know what I'm saying. We <laughs> got a promotion, so he gonna have to wear that every time. And y'all got my mentor, man. Like you said, I'm like I'm like little homie to Ron Green, man. I, oh, I gotta man. share a quick. I gotta share a quick story, man, with with Ron Green, man. Ron Green, what's up, African? You know what I'm saying. Chris the peacekeeper. What's up, African? You know what I'm saying? KLX. You know what I'm saying? They are the reason why I got one of the greatest gifts I could ever receive on Do mm. Knowledge Radio. One of the greatest gifts I could ever yeah. receive. You see what I'm saying? Like, hey, you know, the ancestors saw fit to bring them on the show two mm. years ago. Two years ago, and we had the What's Up African takeover weekend dedicated to to the zeal and to the vision that these brothers put down and was spreading across the country, now spreading across the globe. So we had the What's Up African takeover, boom, everybody was calling in. You know what I'm saying? I think Marcus Garvey called in and gave him a shout out, you know what I mean, at the, at the time. You know what I'm saying? And... Uh, a sister, I, I, I have so much love and respect for uh, to this day. Called in, in in the audience just to give a shout out. You know, Dr. Queen T. Y'all know her uh, from yeah. the Black Love and Communication series that we had running for uh, a year strong. You know what I mean? Uh, it, w- it was a gift from the ancestors via my, my brother Ron Green. What's up, African? And I, I just want to congratulate you you know, on, on the growth and where you are now at a juncture where your intention has met with your work ethic. You see what I'm saying? You had the work ethic out there. You see what I'm saying? Your intention and your vision, your aim and goals and objectives are all aligned. So now you created a synergy and also from that synergy has sparked the minds of other artists, you see what I'm saying, who are participating in this art. You see so you led the charge in a way where it was, you know, uh, edifying enough, and people now see enough value in our culture to be able to say, hey, I want to get in the lane also. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, your your intentions, your aims, your motives, your objectives are remarkable. Salute and honor to you. Salute and honor to establishing a family business, you know, in every sense of the word. In that example, you see what I'm saying? So for the, for the people that are out there that, that you know, you have leveled the playing field in regards to, you know, it used to be you got to get a thousand no's to get a yes. You have shown mm-hmm. us that you can shut that down and make it almost to a one-to-one type of situation. So, you know, I, I hear you, you know, more personally developed than you've ever been, you know, more bulletproof than you ever been, you know. You are the embodiment, my brother, of hella black, hella proud. You understand what I'm saying? So from a determined idea to a, a physical manifestation, you are the exact Salute to you, man. Mm. I appreciate you, brother. I appreciate that. I, all of that hit right home for me, man. Thanks. Mm. Man, you know, it's a... Uh, it's been a yeah, it's been an interesting journey, man, you know, over the last uh three years or so. Uh, you know, and um just being able to, you know, like meet and greet and come in contact and touch so many different people in different ways, you know, um you know, but, but one of the most significant interactions I've I've had has been with this brother knowledge. You know, like uh we, we haven't met in the physical, you know, but you know, um, like any time that we've had the opportunity to, to talk, and we, we've definitely had our times to talk and build on the phone. And, you know, it's been sometimes I, I didn't realize we was on the phone as long as we were, you know, because it just was that the, the flow and the exchange was just that natural, you know. And, um, you know, the times I've been, you know, on your, on your platform, you know, like you graciously allowed me to, you know, take over, and everything, and um, you know, I'm I'm forever grateful for this, you know, because all of this is really part of a 
a, a larger picture, a greater story that's being told. And, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of people who, who playing with it and, uh, you know, but, you know, it, it feels good to be able to come in contact with, with people who are true and, and trill and really about whatever this is, you know what I mean? Because it, it sometimes where it's just, it's, it's so much going on. I don't even know what it is that I'm a part of. It's just, it's just, it's, it's just a life, a life path that we're, we're all like tapping into. It's like this, this vibe, this energy. So I'm just, uh, I'm grateful to be in, in some real, like, uh, some, some quality company on this path, man. But, uh, you know, the, the insight and uh, that, that I've gotten from the, the conversations that we've had, man, is invaluable. So every, everything that you said, you know, like I, it's it's crazy to reflect on it, but I, I appreciate you for helping me always to put things in perspective, like the proper perspective. And that's what that's what knowledge knowledge does for me. Man, knowledge is dope, man. That's why oh, you left that's you. Dr. Green, man. Y'all know his name is Dr. Green, right? Dr. Ron Green. That's Dr. Green. Right? Y'all will refer to him as such. You know what I'm saying? That is Dr. Green. Hey man, um, hey, you know how I get down. You gotta earn that title, bro, Doctor Green. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah. I gotta earn it like Umar. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not that way. Yeah. That's definitely for sure. Hey man, um. And, and like I say, it, make sure you go to uh, the BlackPowerAwards dot com and vote for Knowledge Born Allah, Doggy Diamonds, Brick the Foundation, and Ron Green. You know, uh, show the brothers some love. They have definitely put in the work, and they, you know, they definitely deserve it. Each and every one of them. You know, so and salute to y'all, man. I definitely uh, and, and like I said, you know, I, I sell a couple of shirts or whatnot, man. But I, I have learned just from afar looking. Looking at uh, what's up, African, and and seeing man, because it, it's not just the shirts. And I'm gonna get to you in just one second, Keith. My bad. Um, but it's not just the shirts. It's it's the the photography. It's the timing. It's the parties. It's the it, it's just the whole collective of let's let's change our whole psyche that I just find to be just a beautiful thing. You you get it, man. You get it. Well, it, it, like you, like a down to earth cat, though, you know, and and that and that that helps. Yeah, yeah, you 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 write about that, man. You know, um, the, the interesting is, is interesting thing is, like I've always been a person, you know, I like to think of myself of a person who, I can, you know, it's like I I I do my best to be humble. You know what I mean? It's like I don't like to talk about myself. It's like I just let you kind of just see it. You know what I mean? But, you know, it, it is what it is, man. Like, I really, you know, I, I pride myself on being a man's man, you know. It's like I'm, you, you know, where it's like, I, like it's cool to have, you know, love and respect from, from or, or whatever from the ladies, whatever it is that they got, that they give, um, you know. But, like, you know, to be able to connect and have brothers, you know, to respect and love from brothers, like genuine embrace, when you see him, like genuine interaction, you know, like genuine concern for you when I'm meeting these people in the field and everything. Like that is really meaningful to me, man. It's really meaningful because, you know, you, you don't, you don't, it's not that common for, 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 mm-hmm. for brothers to embrace one another and be able to express themselves in a, in a, in a real way. Like where you're not trying to curb your words and bite your tongue. It's like because oh, I oh, I don't want to sound gay or something like. This. It's like nah, man. Like I love you, man. Like I appreciate what you represent. I appreciate what you're doing. Like keep it, keep doing it. It's like you know. It's like it, it, although it's, it's, that it's would not, that would turn the conversation in a significantly totally d- different direction, and I might have to uh, leave that conversation alone. That's just my personal two cent on that one. What's my that? What you talking about? Uh, the, the 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 gay, like that would be. Oh well, like, I mean uh, that's the thing. It's not nothing about that though. That's what I'm saying. It's like everything is it, just straight up, like yo, look, bro, I appreciate you. Like I love you. I love what you represent. You know, it's like for a lot of people. For a lot of people, what I've found is like you know, they kind of 
are able to, I guess, kind of live through some of my experiences, you know what I mean? Because a lot of people, they got families and jobs and things that are kind of tying them down. And what I want to do is just allow people to just just have an experience that they haven't had before. It's like, 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 but through the lens of blackness, it's like, it's okay to enjoy life or to be a part of, of things, but still represent yourself. Like I don't have, I'm, I don't have, I'm not, te- I'm not like changing my message because of who's around. You know what I mean? Right. I've been in boardrooms and in city council and, and city council meetings, all, all types of stuff where I, I got hella black, hella proud of them. I don't like I'm I ain't y'all got suits on, I got this on. This is my business. Like my business with my people. This is what I do. So it's like it, it don't turn off. You know what I mean? It don't turn off and I think that's the thing that people really respond the most to. So yeah, man, like that's that's something that I really have um, you know, grown to appreciate about what it is that I've been able to, to do. I, I thought when I first made my first shirt, like when I made the What's Up African shirt I, I really, I just thought I was making a T-shirt because people wanted it. You know, I just made a T-shirt real quick. I thought I was going to sell a few of them. And, you know, I look up almost three years later, and it's grown into an entire, like, brand, like, with, with you know, influence. And it just shows you, like, that, um, I mean, people are just looking for something real. And um, I'm I'm glad to be, like, tapped in enough to give it to them, you know what I mean, on a full-time basis. So that's why everything I do, like with everything I'm showing people, the pictures and everything, like the places I'm going, is so that I can inspire people to do something, to do something different. Like, but don't be afraid to be yourself while you're doing it. Like, that's what this is all about. Dope, bro. That's very dope. Um, and on Thanks. that note, uh, I'm gonna get Keith in on the line right quick. What's good, hey, fam? Hey, info, Keith. Hey, 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 what's up, bro? Hey, what's going on, bro? Hey, man, you're a popular guy. I got to wait in line to uh, get on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hey, man, it's good to hear you, man. How, how you be? Uh, good to hear you, too. Uh, I'm pretty good. How about you? Everything is good, man. Philly, Philly is uh, Philly is ripe right now. They just they just ready for for anything we got for them, man. Like, they just, the, the people are ready. You know, like, it, it's it's a beautiful time to be alive, man. Everything is good. That's good. Yeah, yeah I'm a, you know, we, we done been all over the United States. Um, pushing yeah. the mission, hitting the streets, feet on the ground. I'm just, yeah. uh, just happy, happy for you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of everything you're doing. And, uh, that's, oh, man. Sorry. Peace, I see. Peace, job. Else we don't count. <laughs> <laughs> He's so yeah. respectful. Sorry, sorry, sorry about yeah. that. I'm trying to be rude to anybody. <laughs> oh, man, you still ain't sending me them songs either, bro. I appreciate it, though. You know, yeah, yeah, I got you. All right, man. I ain't sat on yet. Yeah, I, know, I already oh, know, bro. Yeah, bro. Well, it's, it's been uh it's definitely it's definitely been been good, you know, the times that we've been able to connect, you know, and and just like really actually do, you know, put put our hands to work and, and, and make something happen in our in our own sphere of influence, man. So it's definitely been a been a, a an honor, you know what I'm saying, to work alongside like people like yourself, man. Uh so I see you know, obviously we don't see each other as often as we like, but you know, it's like I see everything you got going on too, man. I'm I'm just like I'm just waiting for the opportunity for us to reconnect. Are you gonna be in Atlanta for Black Power? Yeah, yeah I'll be there. I'll be there. Yeah. All right, bet. All right, yeah. So, yeah, that I, I suppose that'll be it, man. Because um, you know, it's it's always it's always love when we can when we can connect and kind of be able to. I want you know, it's like we can cut loose a little bit, you know. It's like if we that's everything we do every day is is just high strung, you know. A lot of times are not necessarily <laughs> stressful, but it's just we we just focused, you know. So it's it's good to be able to come together and um you know just relate to each other and build and connect, man. So I'm I'm looking forward to that. That's a fact. That's a, right. 
Like, if you are angry at me 24-7, stay away from me. You are volatile and you ain't stable. And right, you, man. You, you should be able to laugh and enjoy yourself at some point, at some time. You know, it's okay. I'm therapy. Huh? I said, I've been mad all the time. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. To be able to talk to people <laughs> and, and relate is therapeutic, man. We need that. You mad all the time. You know, but I mean, you got as you got in a way to express it. You got your your artistic outlet. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, because I'd hurt somebody if I didn't. So you definitely right about that. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I'm saying. It's a, <laughs> see, it's a it's a beautiful thing. Like as long as we got a way to redirect our energy or, or transmute. You know what I mean? It's just the it's a it's, 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 that's the beauty of life. It's like we can always flip the coin. You know. Mm-hmm. It's, it's that's so true. Yeah. And people waste so much time, you know, complaining about stuff that's not even worthy of, of complaining about. Like you really like okay, um, hella black, hella proud, and you got to complain about that. Like they're just, are you serious? Hey, like like hey, how how are. can you fix your lips uh, to complain uh, about something? We like not that? we not black. I'm not a color. Oh my god, yeah, that's yeah. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> everybody has their own. You know what? You can't please everybody, and you're not supposed to try to please everybody. Right. So you supposed to do like I consider what Ron does. Uh, I, I mean, if it had been something that was short lived, I would see it differently. But as long as I've known Ron, this has been uh, passion. So it's like when you when you see it that strongly, I, I take that as artistic. You know what I'm saying? Of course, yeah. we all know fashion uh, has a lot to do with art. So I understand um, the process. I know you walking around, you know, you know, not necessarily looking for a muse, but the way a way, you know, like fine artists do is like something hits you and you get this phenomenal idea, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. you want to share with everyone, and you want everyone to feel the way you felt it when you first got that epiphany. You know what I'm yes. saying? So, and and yes. that's what you're trying to do with the shirts. The, that whatever particular slogan or design that you're coming with, you're trying to get other people to feel that feeling you, as a message that they can display without having to say anything. You got so it. I, that's, I, that's I get the process. Yes, it's, it feels so good. But it feels good when somebody gets you, you know, and you got it. That's exactly what it is, you know. Yeah. Like, cause I've really, I'm, you know, me, not the, you know, it's like I'm into astrology somewhat. I'm not super deep, but it's like, you know, me being a cancer and everything. Like, I'm, I'm tapped into the emotions, like that energy and emotion. So it's like that's what I'm all about conveying. It's not just mm-hmm. words, but it's a feeling. It's a vibe behind it. You know what I mean? Like when I'm very expressive, like. I'm like my responses to things are what like holy you know it's like I'm just, it's just like it all is you know that's me like that's how I am. You tell me a crazy story like I'm like if you want somebody to react to your story like you tell it to me because I'm I will be right there with you like yo are you oh my god that is are you serious you know what I mean so it's like that but that's me. So it's like I just embrace that and I channel that, you know, with a purpose. So it's like it's you know, and it's, it's like you said, it's it's art, man. It's a, it's like I finally found something that I can actually believe in. Like I've tried so many things in my life, you know, so many different business opportunities and endeavors and opportunities to invest in things and be a part of other people's dreams. You know what I mean? But it's like this is is like this this moment, this point in time is like, damn, I found something that I believe in, that I embody, yeah. and I can share it with mm. people in an effective way. So that's what makes it, you know, that's that's what's giving it longevity is because as long as I'm alive, this thing's alive. Like, it, that's what it that's, is. So yeah, like that's where I'm at. That's dope too, that's, man. That's, I forget the old saying, you know, but if you, you, basically if you like what you do and it's not work. Oh, yeah. That's true. 
and you and you have to be able to invest in yourself because if you don't, like, why does anyone else need you? So right. to step out on that ledge, and it's like you were saying, you've been in business, you know, with someone else's idea, someone else's dream, you know, and it was cool, but when you invested in yourself and believed wholeheartedly in yourself, you found your niche. Right. Oh, oh and you know what? Um our timing was off a little bit, so I did not give our customary uh, shout-outs to the businesses. Uh, make sure you check out blackspot.com, um, uh, melanatedpeoples.net, blackjunction.com. Um, those are some of the social media sites for us and by us. Uh, Please. Make sure you – and I'm not sure what you mean, uh, Keith. Uh, you still live, though, bro, if you wanted to say something. Um who else we got? Uh, we already we, we definitely uh, will hit, hit up what's what's up African uh, dot com. I hope I said that right. Uh, oh, and my skin is my sin dot com. And don't forget, we we plan the Conscious Olympics next week. Uh, and yeah. I think I, I think we talked about that too. But you can win a hundred bucks. You know, it's pretty much it's just questions about us. Um, we got a couple of categories, and if you want to purchase the questions for two bucks, you can go to the App Store on Google and buy the Conscious Olympics, and you will have the ultimate cheat sheet. When we post it up, you got to post the answers on that post to count. All right, and all you got to do is play, and you can win a hundred bucks. So, uh, and I know I, I oh, shout out to Liberation Minded Media. That's the home team, the whole family. Um, do the Knowledge Radio, Get This With, The Magazine, The Rundown with Renee, uh, Black Eye Stand Radio, and My Skin Is My Sin. Um, just want to make sure I get all those out, uh, let the people know. Oh, and salute to MBK for producing the show every week. It is fire every week. And loving the green background, by the way. Um, and if you uh, would like to check out that work, just go to the live stream. It's on our fan page, My Skin Is My Sin. Um it is pretty dope, man. So shout out to him. Uh, but man, uh, I understand what you're saying. I, I, like when we first, when we first started, my skin is my sin. Oh man, I, I had to explain the name like probably a thousand times. So you know, I, I do understand. You know, it can be a headache too. It's a little. It's like, come on, bro. Like it's not that deep. Oh, I mean, you told you told the story of where what's up, African come from. No, I didn't. I did not. Oh, but you know, oh. I've. I guess I would be remiss if I did not. <laughs> I didn't ask. No, no come back. You know, blame me. Oh, no. Well, you know, oh, no, it's okay. It's not what you said it sounded like. It just sounded like maybe I missed that part. But, um, oh, no. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, the, the – all right. So the story behind What's Up African and how it came to be, you know, was really uh, – it, it started – was that uh, January, January of uh, – January of 2014. January of uh no no excuse me January it was January 2015. My bad. I had to tell the story so many times. I feel like an old man now. But uh, January 2015. <laughs> <laughs> you know I was uh you know um I was I was in my house. You know I was in mind of my business. Uh you know I was um at that time I was working directly and solely on another clothing line completely called Risk Takers. Um, it's a streetwear brand that, I'm, that I was a part of. Um, and I still got ties with it and everything. But, you know, what's up African, you know, like it wasn't there. So that's what I was doing, Risk Takers. I was all about it. If you go back in my page, back to 2014, you can see it all through my page. That's all I was about. Um, you know, so like I said, I'm just minding my business, doing my thing. And, uh you know, January 31st, I'm uh, I'm in my house, and I'm on Facebook. And this is, you know, around the time where the Super Bowl is coming up. And uh, brother Marshawn Lynch, playing for the Seahawks at the time, uh, you know, beast mode, he, he was uh, he was giving, he was giving the, the media a lot of issues, a lot of, a lot of problems. They, he was a handful for them. You know, any interviews and things, if you go back to that year in sports, you know, he was just a uh, – a very, very he was he was he was very tough interview for a lot of these people, and um, oh. you're giving, yeah for for his own reasons you know because they they misconstrue his words and they they twist his stories up and all these things they they just trying to make him look bad in his opinion 
So he wasn't rocking with it. So, um, you know, at this at this particular press conference for the Super Bowl, um, you know, while he's in his act and, um, you know, not responding to questions directly uh, during this time, on during his time on the podium at the, at this interview, a black man comes into the room or he, um, you know, he steps up to the front to ask him a question. And when he does that, Marshawn Lynch looks at him and says, what's up, African? Shout out to my real Africans out there. And this is a nationally televised, you know, event. This is like going, you know, all over, like anywhere where people are watching the NFL. So people saw that segment of the interview and with the social media age that we live in, they captured that 15 second clip and they shared it and shared it and shared it. This was the coolest thing people had apparently ever heard in their lives. What's up, African? So everybody's saying it now on, on Facebook. All these people are sharing. What's up, African? Shout out to my real Africans out there. Everybody's just sharing it, hashtag and all this stuff. I'm like, what the hell is going on? So I, uh, I'm on, I'm on one of my good Facebook friends, uh, and now a good uh, real life friend. Um, I'm on, I'm on his page, and it's all these people. Because uh, he didn't share the video, and all these people are in the comment section saying, "What's up, African? What's up, African?" All these people—it was crazy. So I just hopped in and said it too. And under my comment, somebody said, "Yo, this is the coolest shit ever. If somebody made a T-shirt out of this, I would buy it tonight." And I'm sitting in my house where I make T-shirts at, where I design T-shirts at. Like, I could make a T-shirt right now. It's like, oh, I got you. So I I left the post. I, I came downstairs. Before I hit the bottom step, I had the, I had the daggone design in my mind. I grabbed my laptop. I designed it, drew it up. I took a picture of it with my phone just real quick, dropped it in the comment section of that, of that, of that video, and the rest was history. Because people were just, they, they were like, oh, I need that. I need that. All these, all these inboxes start coming. All these friend requests start coming. Ding, 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 ping, ping, ping. All these messages. I'm like, what is going on? But it was like, because this is something that was actually tapping into, like, the, the soul of the people. Like, this is something they identify with, that defiant spirit that Marshawn Lynch had in that moment. You know, it was, it was just summed up with that, with that little phrase. It's like, yeah, in the midst of all of this, like, I'm going to identify this dude as an African. You know what I'm saying? What's right. up, African? Like, that's how they, that's how, because that's how he do. Like, he's up there with the Pan-African colors on. He got the Africa, like the wooden African pieces on around his neck and everything. He, You know, mm-hmm. so he he's already exuding that. He's already showing that. You know, so for him to go ahead and just verbalize it in that way was just like really a polarizing moment for, for the culture at that time. So... You know, and that's just something that he just said casually. You know what I'm saying? It was like nothing to him, but to us it was everything. So, you know, for me to tap in at that moment and to be able to respond as quickly as I did, it was like, you know, like they say, you, if you strike while the iron's hot, you know, and, that, and that's what I did. So, you know, um, after that, you know, the demand was very high. You know, um, I started, you know, within a month, I would like I was getting requests to, you know, travel to do events and stuff. Bring your shirts, man. Come on, you know. So it was like, all right, you know. So here we are, you know. It's, we're we're it's, it's almost 2018 now. You know, that was 2015. You know, and things have just, you know, really continued to elevate themselves. But you know, through that process, <clears throat> I've learned a lot about myself personally. You know, I've had to grow in a lot of areas and mature. So what's up, African? You know, like like from a lot of angles and respects, has like been the, the one of the single greatest things to happen. You know, not just to my life, but to a lot of the people's lives who I'm you know directly connected with. It's just changed a lot of things for us as far as like the outlook and uh, the ability to influence change. You know, in in a way that um you know not not that many people have been able to use in fashion. You know what I mean? So especially in the arena in which we operate in. So since we since that night, man, it's, it's, it's been, you know, an incredible ride, a lot of ups and downs, you know, a lot of times where I'm like, man, I just want to get off the ride, you know, because uh, it, it can be, you know, it can, things can get stressful, you know, but it's 
like I said, I've had to learn about myself. And in those moments, it's like you, you learn disengage. I don't have to feel the stress of this moment if I don't want to. So, it like, mm-hmm. it's just a lot of things that have come from this. But, like, everything started that night. It's been, it's been, it's been crazy. I mean, I, 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 I mean, how would I even know y'all? Like, I mean, I, the thing is so crazy. Like, I don't even, like, would I even be connected to y'all if I hadn't done it? I don't know. That's, that's a dope ass story though, bro. I did not know that. Yeah, 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 yeah man. Yeah, it was. It was it's crazy, man. It was, and I, and I saw that part uh, with Marshawn Lynch. I saw that. Uh, I saw that. Um, I saw that. Um, what do you call it? News uh, conference. The press conference. Everyone. You know, yeah. Press conference. You yeah. Know, everyone trying to ask him questions, but he was ignoring everyone, and it wasn't until a black man came in the room that he had something to say. So I just thought that that was funny. Marshawn Lynch was one of the funniest, coolest, like you don't even, you don't even care if you don't do shit when you say you want to hang out in the same room with him because yeah. it's like that's one of those black people, if you're like-minded, it's like you know you can hang out with this black person and truly not give a fuck about white people. <laughs> like truly, like ignore the shit out of them. Like if you're, like if you're a true Pan African, it's like, uh, you're not necessarily on that militant thing. You know, you're not really, you're not trying to kill a crack or nothing like that. You just want to do what the hell you doing as a black man or as a black woman, and, and have white folks leave you alone sometimes. You know, and that it seemed yeah. like that was always what he wanted. He just wanted them to leave him. He, he wasn't interested in nothing they had to say. So I thought that right. was funny that when the black man comes in, you know, all of a sudden he can speak. You know what I'm saying? That was what I, that was what was so funny to me. So I think that that was, uh, you know, like that was just being in the right place at the right time. Genius that, you know, you jumped on that wave and, and was there at the moment when someone made that suggestion. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like that was meant for you to do that because... Uh, out of all the conversations that you could have been on, that you could have clicked on or scrolled on, and you happen to be on that one at that time, you know, when the, when the right idea came to mind. Yeah. But I think I think the, the, the key thing is is that you were prepared at that moment. Yeah. Right. Right. They say if you if you stay ready, you don't got to get ready. And I was exactly. already, I was already ready already. <laughs> I mean, it's like I was on deck. I was I was in the creative mentality like at that time of night you know i had already but the thing is like is i these are things that people don't know you know that that go into the preparation you know like when michael jordan tells his story not that i'm comparing myself to jordan i'm just saying like when people ask people's story it's like it's a lot of things that go into the finished product you know what i mean it's a lot of nights where you stand up and you you trying different things i'm you know, I'm I'm studying these fashion trends and things like that. I'm looking at what people are wearing now and, you know, like how are they styling it and, you know, who's wearing what. And, you know, it's, it's all these different things that's going into the finished product, you know, and it's like this great thing, but it's like so it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, but it, but like you said, I, I, it's, I have a passion for it, so it's not – work in the sense where it's like a slave thing like oh god i hate this but it's like you know it's the necessary work it's like i don't mind it because i know like what we're doing is worthwhile it's like this is the type of work you that got to be done a lot of people is doing stuff you know and i i can't judge any one person you know right now but you know we can know we know of individual cases where it's a lot of people who just spinning their wheels they just put a lot of effort into things that ain't paying out anything it's not bringing back any results so right. you know when 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 we out here and we doing what we do and we can see a direct kickback or we can see like people doing better or feeling better about themselves or getting more involved in their community or like like uh like there's been plenty of people who I've talked to in my in my journey you know in travels where they're like yo man like I would have never started my company if I didn't see you do do what you're doing and it's and it's That's not dope. always necessarily and it's, yeah and 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 that I'm like damn and it's not always fashion it's just the it's just people getting into business for themselves period 
it's like, yo, man, like just seeing what you're doing just inspired me to just go ahead and chase after what I want to do. Because I ain't never seen, you know, it's like people are able to watch and, and, and see the growth and development of the brand. Like, you know, that. like, by the way, I'm framing it. So, I'm like, and that's my goal. Like, I want to inspire people in all aspects, in any way possible. Like, it's, it's time to go out here and get it. That's, and that's that's what I'm all about. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. When y'all dropping some shoes, bro? Some shoes? <laughs> hey, man, you know, it's funny. It's funny because uh, you know I've there there isn't there aren't too many there aren't too many garments or pieces of fashion that I have not considered and looked at and been on uh, you know some websites or actually been to some warehouses and looked at. I'm I'm talking I'm because I'm I want to take black power down to the socks, black power to the drawers. You know what I mean? It's like your undershirts, everything. You know what I mean? It's like we. We we taking this thing to 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 like all the functional levels, you know. So the shoes is a natural component to your outfit, and the, the shoes are definitely, you know, like concepts and things are are being worked on. That's what I can say. We we have concepts and things in the works. I don't have no dates for nobody, man. But trust me, like we we working, like because I, I I see what I see what it is now. Like I see what people want. From what's up asking where people expect us to go, I see it. So it's like I'm gonna make sure to, to to deliver. You know what I mean? But them sneakers gonna be crazy. Trust me, like <laughs> they gonna be crazy. Yeah, oh, I'm man. waiting on those boys right there. I know they gonna be. Fighting. Yeah, bro. I'm. I'm. Yeah. I'm, we we working. Trust me, man. Um, like and, and just to um, well, I don't want to take up the take over the flow of the show, but I'm just thinking about the Black Power Awards. And the fashion aspect of of you know that you know um, is like I'm really I'm excited about that you know it's like um, you know I'm excited to just to be a part of the Black Power Wars like I was there last year for the first official initial uh, you know inaugural Black Power Awards you know and it was it was a major 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 success like like from all respect and uh you know with with that you know in the books you know the excitement level for this year is is way larger you know it's a lot more people that are planning to come out this year now who weren't there last year you know for whatever reason so um you know we i'm i'm just excited to be in the in the fray like now like they you know they didn't ask me to come on and host the the black carpet right you know, and i'm i'm, I'm you the man, huh? Yeah, I'm honored. I'm honored, <laughs> man. It's it's a beautiful thing because it's like you know, I, I like it's just beautiful. Like you know, to to be a part of an effort to honor one another. You know, it's like I I think it's awesome to, you know, to to be able to just turn to people and say thank you for your efforts. Like yo, you know, like we, you know, we see there's a lot of people doing what they do, but it's like we recognize you and we appreciate. Like your, like what you bring to the table, I don't, I like I think that's a beautiful thing, and a lot of us are, are if if we had more positive reinforcement in our lives, I think a lot of us uh-huh. would feel differently about what we do. You know, we we would so I I think it's it's necessary that we do it, and it's and it's a uh, you know if, and shoot I'm I'm I don't have no problem with a little healthy competition. What's wrong with competition? You know, in my mind, that's what I'm thinking about. Like, shoot, like, but we we all down here on Earth in this experience together. There's all types of stuff that we can get into. Like, in in a in a little competition, is only going to it's like iron sharpens iron in my mind. Because regardless to who wins, like, it's you you stepping up, and you you like you know in order to win that you got to be at your best. So I appreciate like people coming. And, and like just like applying themselves more, like you sharpening your skills, like because you actually care about how it looks. You know, in my mind, I think like like you, you it's it's only right you take a sense of pride in what you do. You know, like people talk about you know oh we got to kill the ego man it's too much of that. You know I think we bring some balance to it like you know you got to level it out. 
you know, but the, you everything that we have is necessary to our being. There's no part of you that you don't need. You know what I mean? And let, like, let's like keep it a stack. We've been competing since we've been here. Like there's, I mean, you know, oh, you yeah. look back in the oh, history yeah. of warriors. You know, there's there's somebody that yeah. led the troops. You know why they led Come the on. troops? Because they compete. They competed with their fellow men Come on. and rose to the top. Yeah. You know, it don't, you it don't mean you don't love the community any less. It just means that you Come had on. a particular skill that that you had better than everybody else, and your community was smart enough to take advantage of that skill. Come on, that, that's it. That's it, man. You 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 recognizing the 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 outstanding, the uh, the upstarts, the people who are who are who are like really putting their best foot forward, and it's and it's not, and it's and like you said, it's to it's to it's to strengthen the community. It's to strengthen like the and it's also to give you an example. It's like, look, if you say you want to do these things, this is something that you can aim for. This is a benchmark for you. Not saying you got to become this person. But it's like you do it in your way. You know what I'm saying? Be inspired by these examples. Because whether they win or not, the fact that these names are even amongst the mentioned, you know what I mean, means that they're doing something significant and they're doing something right. So I, I, I think that it just it makes sense if we want to keep the continuity of activity going. If we want to have a high level of output from our leaders in the communities, then we need some way to encourage them. And mm-hmm. everybody don't have to buy into it, but damn it, if people are if if if, if people are working and lives are being changed and uh, and and destinies are being affected, then it, it's all worth it. And everybody got their work to do in their own way in their own arena. And as long as you being affected there, I don't think as much anybody can say about that. So right. you know, it's yeah, it's, and, it's, and, it's, 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 like I said, go ahead. Let's keep it a stack, you know, like to be honest, most most people that got a radio show or selling shirts or got some type of product is not making any money. And if they are making money, it is not significant enough to, to, to change their lifestyle. Right. You know, I think you know, I think people say, Oh, well so and so I seen they had twenty pictures of people with shirts. Yeah, well they may have sold thirty T shirts. It did it, it did not mean they can go out and buy a whole block. Right. 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 Right, you know, so, so we gotta, yeah, hey man, yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta encourage the people that are working. Like that's what I'm saying is like the ones amongst us who are actually, you know, doing things. Why not put something behind them? You know, whether it's whether it's your 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 just your genuine energy and love, or or you know, monetary support, whatever the case may be. But it's you know the thing the thing with me. It's like the beautiful thing is, is like I don't, I've never felt like I've had to beg anybody for support because what I'm doing is like just something that means something to them. It's like I, I am just a representation of what you want to say, and I'm like I'm allowing you to say that. Like I'm giving you, you know, a way to express that. That's it. It's like everything I have, I'm, everything I have is coming from everybody else is like I'm being influenced, I'm being inspired by us. So that's why it's like I don't even have to I just make this stuff because it is coming to me so naturally. So I don't even have to beg or plead or get somebody like, oh this is what I mean. Look at it this way. And you know, it's natural. So I think that the people who are like really like they have an organic movement, they get the support because it's real. You know what I mean? But it's like we all the, the, like what I like to say though is that even the people who have radio shows or whatever, you know, like like there are ways to monetize, you know, obviously, and uh, you know I'd be willing to, you know, like talk more about those things with some people and everything. But um, you know, like that's a, I guess that's a topic for another show. But um, I really, guess man, it's, you. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 it's just. A, yeah, because I think it's just a, um, like there's there's a way to make everything happen, you know. Like, uh, but we we just got to, I think the 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 method the methods that we use are what's most important. So, um, you know, there's some options that we we got to look at. Um, but I feel like I'm getting we off that. We're gonna do a so what's anyways, up African show once a week. Let Ryan Green go in. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I, that, that's the thing. I would I wouldn't. 
I wouldn't be opposed to to doing a podcast or something. I really wouldn't. So, um, you know, if, if that's something, you know, tangible, something real, let me talk about it. Because I'm, I'm definitely oh. open to it. Yeah. You know, uh, like, yeah. I know I talk with yeah, I know I talk with knowledge before and everything. Um, you know, about it and everything. It's just you know, I'm open to it. I'm open to it. If people are what if people knowledge? wanna hear Huh? Oh my bad, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, oh, oh no, I was just saying people if people are open to it and they wanna hear me, you know, I'll I'll talk to them. I holler at them for a little bit. But um yeah, man, I, I just, I, I really do appreciate the opportunity to connect. That's why anything that's being built up for us that is legit, being done for us and by us, like, I'm with it. You know what I mean? So the Black Power Awards, I'm with it. Oh, y'all want me to host the Black the, the black Carpet? Yes, I'm with it. Like, let's go. Like, let's make it happen. Everybody going to come out looking fly, you know, as we do. They African garments on with they prints and everything. You know the queen mm-hmm. had her hair wraps on and the crowns up. You know it's, it's gonna be a, a a really like a beautiful occasion, man. It's like why why not? Why wouldn't I be there? You know like right. this is what this is what we yeah like this is the aspect of the culture that make people fall in love with it. Why wouldn't I want to be a part of that? You know what I'm saying? Like like why wouldn't I want to help enhance that experience any way I could? So I, I thank the brother Dwayne Jordan, brother DJ, for for you know like reaching out to me and giving me the opportunity to be a part of it. And the goddess Amina, uh, you know who's gonna be my co-host. Like you know I'm looking forward to meeting her. You know we gonna, we gonna kill it, man. It's just gonna be a really dope uh, occasion. And we got David Banner and Ernestine Johnson hosting the show. Come on, man. It's it's gonna be retarded. It's gonna be retarded. I'm just like I'm. Like I said, I'm hyped. I'm just hyped to get back down to Atlanta and be amongst all the beautiful blackness, you know. So I'm yeah, that is forward a beautiful thing. Yeah, man. That is a beautiful thing, man. Um, and we got like ten minutes to go, and I don't know what you doing over there, Afi. Like, what's all the noise? I'm eating. <laughs> <laughs> eating dinner. I mean, look, man, this art show is coming up, and I've been, like, man, ragged. I'm, I'll be so glad when it's over. I'm not going to even lie. Right, right. Speaking, yeah, speaking I, of that. I did, um, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry, go ahead. I was just going to uh, pl- plug uh, plug the art show uh, October the 21st. Uh, that is in Houston. Um, if you are within a 100-mile radius, you should be there. You ain't got no excuses. <laughs> Yeah, man. I and I, uh, you know, I'm I'm glad I was, uh, you know, able to get some things down there too. They you, they should be arriving like on the 21st. Absolutely. You know, okay. so you you should just be on the lookout for that uh, care package. You know, like Wait, that you getting, you getting care package. packages, Avi? Oh, well, yeah. hey, <laughs> what's up, African Apparel is an official sponsor of the Revolution of Exodus art show and silent auction, if you didn't know, sir. Damn, you getting mm-hmm. care packages? Yeah, you know, for some lucky for some lucky uh, attendants of the show. Going to have some yep. dope stuff for them. Yep. That's dope right there. That's very you know, dope. You know, black folks got to do extra stuff. It can't just be an art show where you walk around and look at art. There's got to be some extra to it. Yeah, we need some so, incentives, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's going to be a cool event. So y'all come down and, um, you know, you might possibly be the lucky recipients of some What's Up African um, gear. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's very, yes, sir. very if dope. I a, if I was a selfish person, I'd keep it for myself. Uh-huh. Yeah, it should be it should be good. They, they should appreciate it. I'm sure they will, man. I'm a, I'm yeah, I, that one. I wish I could be there. <laughs> you know, yeah, man, we, uh, yeah, we got some huh? yeah, we got some uh some some more flavor coming out, you know, from uh what's up African apparel. You know, it's a uh, we got some man, I'm I got I I'm gonna just tell you now, I got the the outerwear on deck now, man. Oh. That's what I'm saying. We ain't just yeah. T-shirts no more. You can't just say, oh, yeah, that's a T-shirt company. Oh, I know a guy with a T-shirt company. No. 
This is a full yeah. on brand now. This is clothing. This is a clothing company, a clothing brand. Like clo- like this is full on brand attack. Like wait till I drop the damn fitted caps and the scullies and the and the snapbacks. You know, but for right now, what we got for y'all next up is these is these uh these unisex bomber jackets. The hella black color proud. It's getting cold outside. The temperature just dropped on us over here in Philly. It was crazy. Like it, it was like sixty eight the other day, and the next day it was damn forty two. So you know, like it's it's getting ignorant out here. But it's like we, we you know, we we ready. You know, I, I had to make sure that you know if you going if you going bundle up, then you can still represent. So when I drop right. these joints tomorrow, it's gonna be major. But they uh they they coming out tomorrow. This is the official announcement. I heard it here first. Bomber Jack is coming out tomorrow. They will be available at uh, 12, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. They'll be available on What's Up African Apparel, What's Up African.com. You can check us out now. But we will have them on the site at 12 p.m. tomorrow. That's what it is. That's so dope. That is so dope. And y'all heard it first, 12 p.m. tomorrow. So make sure y'all go to What's Up African.com and make that purchase. <laughs> That's fire. Oh, and uh, lest I forget, um, our sponsor for the Conscious Olympics, uh, go to emroshell.com if you want some fire, fire, uh, handmade jewelry. Um, hey. Definitely phenomenal. And you can win something um, if you play this this coming Thursday. So tell your people, Ron Green, they can win $100 from their couch, from their car, from, yep. from the break room at work. Because we only do it about 30, 35 minutes, you know. Um, we we'll also have Boom yeah. from 300 Gangsters on next next week, too, with us. So that's oh, a good one, Oh, man, too. that's the fam. Yeah, yeah. man. That, yeah, like Boom is fam right there. You know, shout yeah. out to Wolf and everybody, 300 Gangsters and 300 Gangsters Entertainment. What's up, B-More? Yeah, man. Oh, B-more. man, yeah, we got a chance yeah. to go down there a couple of years ago, man. Very, very. Well, matter of fact, that was last year. I'll take that back. Very, very dope. Very dope. Oh, y'all, y'all, y'all are northerners. Right. I mean, well, you know, we ain't crying about it being 74 degrees outside. Oh, my God, it's cold. You know what? 74. First of all, if you lived down here, you would have knew why I was acting like that. Like, that's not cool for the weather to just flip on us. It's always warm here. And then, so I said, oh, and it's cold as hell. I needed a What's Up African bomber jacket. The other, like yesterday, it was cold. Seventy four oh, in October here is a good look. That's shorts, right? The t shirt. <laughs> nah, I was looking for. <laughs> Let's go. I had you know, five high socks and a sweater in the house. It was that cold. Oh my goodness! It's, it's oh my goodness! Get it's, it's not normal <laughs> when you're not used to it. And I went to college in Michigan, so you know it's not like I haven't really seen real cold weather, but. You know, I'm a I'm a to the bone Houstonian, so you get like uh, like a year about twenty days of weather that's below you know sixty degrees. Y'all lose your mind with one snowflake. You do. Shut down the city and buses ain't running. We (laughs) dropped (laughs) off. All right, um, so we got about five minutes left, though. The door is still open. And you know we did not we did not play our brick song, uh, so we got to make sure we get brick in. Um, go to www. brick. dot com and please check out one of the greatest uh, double CDs ever, in my opinion. Yeah. You know, um, yeah. like just man, brick is bananas. Yeah. Crazy. Stop sleeping on that man. I think they I think oh, they they waking up, man. They waking brick up. Brick is doing some. Brick is doing some of his lyrics to a spoken word <laughs> at the show today. Oh. He's going to provide a signed lyric sheet. I think that's so dope. <laughs> that is pretty what? dope. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks for reminding me how, how, you know, how boring my shit will be, but I appreciate that. <laughs> 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 um, and before we jump into the song and close it out, man, is there anything you wanted to say? Uh, well, first and foremost, I want to just uh, start by saying I appreciate this opportunity to um, 
be on your platform and to share, you know, my movement with the people, you know, and at this point, you know, I, I say it's my movement, but it's really, it's our movement, you know, it's like, because everything I do is a, this is a byproduct of our interactions and everything that y'all give me uh, through doing y'all work and vice versa, man. So I'm, I'm appreciative to be able to be on here and uh, be a reflection of y'all and uh, give the people what they want. And um, secondly, I want to say thank you to everybody out there who has, uh, who has ever purchased a shirt, a wristband, a pair of glasses, a mug, a hoodie, a tank top, Whatever it is, you know, anybody who's just, uh, you know, just giving me their love, you know, in some way, shape, or form, I appreciate you, like, to the fullest. And I just want to thank you for contributing to, you know, the, this this movement and this momentum that we're on. Uh, finally, I want to say if you haven't had the opportunity to support the movement, um, you can join us now. You can join the tribe literally by going to www.whatsupafrican.com and you can check out our wide selection of uh, dope cultural fashion and uh and join in the movement man like we we out here promoting uh a do for self attitude we're promoting a love yourself attitude uh promoting a love each other attitude and uh you know i feel like uh we we can't lose with that so with that being said i appreciate y'all once again this has been a great experience. Uh, thank you for letting me express myself tonight, man. I'm a uh, I'm. Hey, anytime y'all want to have me back on, please just hit me up. Let me know. Oh, no doubt. If y'all want me co-host one night or something, I got y'all. You know, like just yeah. some dope. So yeah, we we out here. Um, thanks to everybody. Peace to the tribe. Thanks to everybody in Philly. You know, shout out to everybody out here in Yaden, <laughs> in my in my area. You know, shout out to the two one five and the six one zero. Peace and love. Peace, King. Definitely appreciate it. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Mom. Thank you. All right. Uh, I think that's about oh, it, yeah, man. We best to you on your on your show too. Like much oh, success to so you much. on your show. Yeah, like thank you. Thank you. Yeah. For oh, real. give them the address I, right quick too, Afi. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's at Yoga House Houston, 4001 Alameda Road in Houston, Texas. And, uh, again, don't forget to go to YouTube and and uh, subscribe to MBK Live. Don't forget to subscribe to My Skin Is My Sin on YouTube. Check us out on Instagram, My Skin Is My Sin, the number one. Uh, the same thing for Twitter, My Skin Is My Sin, number one. Uh, we got uh, a couple of groups on Facebook and the fan page. You know, just uh, look us up and you can find us. Um, and dang, I cannot remember. What, do you remember the name? Uh, Kimmy's got a play uh, coming up also October 21st. If you are in the Detroit area, you want to make sure you check that out. You wouldn't have to know the name of it. Uh, it's on the tip of my tongue and I forgot the name of it. Uh, the last that. Say that again. The Last Cry 2. Ah, bet. There we go. So check that out. Um, actually, it is October 21st and the 22nd. Um, yes. And don't forget, we're going to do the uh, Black Business Buzz next next month, too. So if you got a black business and you want to call up and promote your business, it's yes. that simple. You know? Um, so, and shout out to Ron Green again for being so patient and being such a dope uh, guest. Definitely appreciate it. Shout out to you, Afi. Uh, peace and love to everybody. Uh, we're going to tune out with some break right quick, and we out. Peace. Peace, everyone. Blondie. Though they take my kindness for weakness, I never weaken. Closed eyes tremble while I'm sleeping. Mind singing songs of unity for my people. And may they live no more life as sheeple. To be honest, my mind is deeper than the evils of Pandora's box. More regal than the fox. Every new thought sneaks up on me with a care. Like, what's up, doc? Every black life lost is a shock to rock me back to my senses. So I may remember this system don't want us winning. In these hoods for our lives we finning. And my mind yells, stay a black man. Stay a black woman. As the first people of this earth, my melanin is homogenous. So look me in my eyes. 
and welcome to my consciousness. Black rain falls on the black pavement, Trying and still the racist right. target black faces. Consider the threat because I make these black statements, yeah. representing for my black nation. My fist high, we out here black debating. The black don't matter, you know don't. We in the heart of the project, we trying to reach up everywhere. Red, black, and green flag flying, we gathered underneath it. Even if we only reach one before we leave, and here to let you know we love you. Love we you. gon' make it through the struggle, best we gon' leave it. I refuse to be defeated, born in the winter. I've been a winner since the fetus. Yeah, them fingers for the Blanco Supreme. So rap my region, the mic checker. We'll reach the other side of the board. It's time to king me. What up, though? Self empowerment for my people. Conduct flows. Orchestrated just for your speakers. Nice to meet ya. Huh? On church grounds, I like my reef up. Miss me with the lies. I ain't trying to hit the Jesus up. The neighborhood decaying outside of the congregation. Used to pray, but now I'm contemplating. They call me crazy, huh? And since I don't eat swine, they call me Farrakhan But they ain't recognizing this is me in my rarest form It's plain to see I am the pilot, let y'all carry on Red eye flights on space high, I'm in my pharaoh zone Unlock the God in me, welcome to the side of sea These verses high commodity, tap into where they power be Mentally, we fighting a war, this is psychology They ain't fighting fat now, kill you with technology I robot, my flow got many levels to it I'm in they face, lyrical, Botox, heavenly influence by the leaders 